Hey, happy Monday morning, Freedom Seekers. It is time for another episode of Coffee and Cash. What's up, y'all? Dude, I'm excited to be here. This is a great Monday morning. We're back at it. The new year is almost upon us, right? This is our first episode in December. That means you've only got a few more weeks to get that last end of year push and get set for the new year where we know sales will go bonkers. And so we're excited to be here helping you with it. Today's episode, I've got some great offers for you. We're talking about four survival niche offers that I think you need to take a look at. Some of them are brand new, you've never heard about them, and they're crushing it, so make sure you stay on. And then we're gonna talk about a little bit on split testing and some things that you could be doing to make more money. Before we move on, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Every single Monday morning, we're coming to you live with brand new, great offers, great educational pieces, things that you need to know. And we get all in 15 minutes before you start your day and you're rocking and rolling. So let's go to our offers now. First up, Dark Age Defense, right? Dark Age Defense, that's a killer name. Why would we want to be presenting you with like these survival offers? It's winter time. Right? And when it's winter time, there's power outages. There's all sorts of issues, right? People start thinking about like, I gotta heat my home. Costs aren't great. And so this, whether you you think typically people in the past are usually like, oh, this is a conservative thing, right? No, it's an everybody right now is thinking about what can I do? And so Dark Age Defense is a great survival ebook. It teaches people how to survive if there were an attack on the grid system. Now, recently I've been seeing in the news like different hacking things happening, right? And every time you hear one of those like, ooh, this person got hacked or this person hacked, and then some company had to pay like a bribe to get back to the control of all their systems, right? This sort of leans on that. That's the marketing angle that's teaching you about this. It's got a great AOV at $149. They're offering a great rev share of 90% or if you're a high quality affiliate, you can get an $80 CPA. Now, an $80 CPA in the survival niche is pretty high. And so I think you really ought to take a look at this one, especially right for our emailers. This is a good one. You need to check it out. Take a peek at it, right? Let's go on to next offer. The next one, No Grid Survival Project. Now, this is an ebook, again, that's teaching you how to go off grid, right? how to survive and be self-sufficient. I'm from Idaho, as you can tell with this mug. And Idaho knows all about the idea of being off grid. Right? We're such a distrustful people. <laughs> I, I sort of love it. It's at times hilarious. We have some very interesting political candidates. We have was this one guy who actually changed his legal name to Mr. Pro Life. He changed his name to legally. He runs every year for governor. It's pretty fun. But that being said, this idea of being self sufficient and not having to depend on anybody is very attractive to not only conservative lists, but there's more and more people. You think about it, right? How many hippie people have always been like, anti the government, how many hippie people have always been like, hey, I need to have my own self-sufficient commune, things like that. And so this, this plays everywhere, right? I would test this with all sorts of lists. I would test it with all sorts of people. Let's go to the numbers. AOV, $68.12. They're giving away a 75% rev share. Really great um, EPCs and conversion rates. Check it out. Next offer, the Forger's Guide the guide to the plant that can save your life in a crisis. We're heading into the final season of The Walking Dead, right? I do watch The Walking Dead. It's not quite as compelling as it was those first couple of seasons, but uh, nonetheless, it hits on this idea, right, of during a crisis, if things go down, if they go sideways, are you gonna be capable of taking care of yourself? And I think that's a legitimate fear that people have because more and more we're seeing moments of crisis where Maybe it's not gonna be the end of the world, but for a week or two or three or four, right, you might be out. And so this idea of understanding what's out there with plant life, the, the homeopathic angle, super good, right? Again, let's talk about that. People think a lot of times these survival products are just for conservative email lists, but that's not true because of that homeopathic angle, right? You can talk about this idea that there's all sorts of people, older generations that love gardening and stuff like that. This could be an interesting thing from them as well, right? My grandma and grandpa love to just get out in the woods. They walk around, they go look at bushes, they go look at trees, they go look at birds. And so this is a thing that you could target these guys. AOV, $72.87, rev share, 75%. Last and final offer for you, the kinetic power system. 
No, this is simple energy hacks that will cut your water bill. Right now, again, a lot of people just send this to their conservative email list. But let me ask you something, conservative or liberal right down the center, what is like the number one issue that everybody's worried about in the US? It's the economy, inflation. Money is rising. And so get out of the dogma of the idea that the survival thing is just like a Trumpian trope that we're really going to that MAGA base, but really thinking who could benefit from this? And it's everybody that is paying rent. Everybody who's paying a utility bill. And so this is a great thing to look at. AOB, $72. Rev share a 90%. I think that a lot of these things are also great timed for you because they could also be given as gifts, right? This is the type of thing like for me, I'm trying to think what should I get for my grandpa? And I could get him another mug that says world's best grandpa. I could get him another, he loves, like we get him ties or like a hat. But almost always what happens is we give him a gift and then he just sets it to a side and he never uses it again. But like one of these eBooks where I can say, hey, here's this thing. Like, let me show you about this or this or nature or whatever. Like that's something that he, a guy who has like a lot of time on his hands could start to learn. He loves it. Like he's always got National Geographic's magazines. And so it's a great Christmas gift idea as well. And so that's another reason we wanted to get it out to you now early before Christmas hits. Let's talk education. Now, a couple of things that I've said today was a lot of people think, right? That survival is just this group of people, but really it could also open up about this. I think it was, Three weeks ago, we had on Matt Karchner, and he also talked, he manages a lot of email lists. He talked about how you have to just throw random offers in there and see if they're successful. And so sometimes you could be running a blood sugar offer and you've got a blood sugar list. Now you could be thinking, okay, what are the odds that like a blood sugar list is gonna want our survival product? But start thinking about the demographics, right? What, what is the age? of my consumer? What is the, the gender of my consumer? If you start looking at it, it's like, well, this might be a health buyer's list, but I don't just want to drown them in the same blood sugar offer. I'm like, maybe I'm just going to try this and see if it works. And all of a sudden you're surprised that, wow, this actually worked. And so it's key to start split testing, right? It's split test with your own email list, split test with your audiences. We're not saying throw everything at it, segment out, do a small portion. It's great if you're a media buyer to say, hey, I'm gonna have a test budget that every month or every week, I dedicate this amount of money to just like random things just to see if they work because you never know what's gonna hit and take off. And so if you always just have that small dedicated budget to rando offers, you're not gonna get left out. If anything, you might hit on something that nobody else is checking out, right? Nobody else is doing. And that's when you can really scale in a space that's a little bit less competitive with your emails. now. Vendors as well need to start split testing things. And this is what is super cool about working for a company like Digistore24 is I get to actually see in the back end of what all these different product owners are doing, right? I get to see what color of button they use on their initial sale versus on their upsells. I get to see what type of VSLs are doing the best and what type of VSLs are doing the worst. I get to see things like product order. Now, with survival offers, a lot of times, if we're gonna talk about real quick, like survival products that are physical in nature, a lot of times these funnels have like 10 different products. And it's really just like a maze of going through and it's, I bought this one and then I'm gonna click on this button and there's this option. If I downsell, it's a maze. But it's important for those vendors to split test because maybe the offer that you have in your third spot, right, your second upsell, third upsell might actually be the best first upsell. And if you never split test these things, you'll never know. For example, recently working with a weight loss offer, they had their initial upsell was testing at a much lower rate. I wanna say it was somewhere around like 5%, but they noticed that their second upsell was actually doing great at like a 16% or something like that. And so what they're now doing is saying, well, maybe we need to try that one out in that first spot and see if that can bump our AOV up. Split testing is super easy via the Digistore 24 platform for offer owners and vendors. You can do it in Digistore. All you gotta do is you get in, it's called conversion cockpit, you can set up split tests. It'll then tell you the percentages of everything that's happening. You can set it out so that the traffic split is 50-50, or you could set it up so, hey, I know that this one's working, and so I'm gonna do 75% of my traffic to this one that I know is working right now. And I'm just gonna give 25% to this other way just to see if it's a winner and beats it, right? Goes back to that idea of having a test budget is just saying, I'm always gonna be testing 10% of my traffic on something or another. Now you don't wanna test 
everything at the same time when you're split testing. So I'm not gonna make two completely different pages. I'm gonna have my control, right, is what we call it. And then I'm just gonna change one feature. And it might just be the color of the button, or it might be the order of the bottles, one, three, and six. Maybe I wanna do three, six, one, right? And you just test that out and see where you get bumps. And little conversions here and there, right? Maybe it doesn't make a, a huge deal when it's just, I saw a 5% bump because of this or a 3%. But if you do 3% bump here and then a 3% bump there and a 3% bump there, it gradually adds up to equal big numbers. So if you're not split testing, uh, you're not doing it right. If you need help split testing with the Digistore 24 platform, you can reach out to your account manager. If you don't have an account manager, you can reach out to affiliates at digistore24.com and we'll help you out and get you all set. Cool? Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Follow us every single Monday morning. We're so grateful that you're here. Please refer us to your friends. Please send us more questions, right? Things that you want to know about because we really want to be of value to you, our audience, our freedom seekers. And remember, as always, open minds, open hearts equals open wands.